This is Courtney Angle. It is November 11th, 2012, and you're watching Streamlining Social Media, episode number two. In the news today, we have the RockMelt browser. RockMelt is a new type of web browser. It allows you to integrate your Facebook and your Twitter information. I got an invite, and I'm in the process of sharing and sending them out. But if you want to check it out, it is rockmelt.com. Again, that's rockmelt.com. Evernote hits 5 million users. Evernote is a fantastic application for saving and storing all sorts of different things, whether it be audio, video, photo, emails, um, articles, whatever. It's this catch-all organizing system that saves to the internet, and it's open for the public and free to an extent. You can get it on most mobile devices and a piece of software for free on most any operating system that you need. Check them out, evernote.com. As a reminder, if you are a Google Wave user, you will want to get out there and export those Google Waves. Google has announced that the service will be coming to an end, and so the Google Wave blog has some information for you on how to export your waves. They make a great little service available to you so that you can get in and export that data before you lose it. Next up in the news, the website digdiggg.com has added a breaking news feature. When you log into Dig on the right hand side, you will see a breaking news area that is the staff picks. It is something that is hand selected by a specific community of staffers at Dig, and so that's important information going on. They're hoping that this will again revive a little bit of interest in what's happening on Dig's website. I'm still a fan, but others have left in droves since they've overhauled it. Next up in the social media world, we have Ping and Twitter integrating. If you log into your iTunes account, on the left hand side you will see that there is a new box that says find people. You can find people by email, which we have had since Ping came out, and you can also follow others that you are connected with in Twitter. I've yet to actually see any real value of networking inside of Ping itself, uh, but sharing my music interests out to Twitter could be interesting. Likewise, over in Twitter, when you share something from Ping, the link will look kind of like this. It's a big long link that says it's from iTunes.Apple, and it actually has a link to the exact song in there, and you can purchase it if you would like to. Notice that it gives you that iTunes Ping option in saying where it's from. Moving on to WordPress news, WordPress related news. A new theme has come out for those that are doing a live broadcast. So if you are doing live broadcasting services of any sort, whether it be a concert or convention, it could be a church service, there's a new theme called the live theme out and the live theme will actually allow you to integrate, you know, a live video here, the Twitter feed, some Facebook information and some Flickr photos as they're being posted and tagged. So livetheme.tv is the link you want to go to to get the live theme. Check them out, livetheme.tv. Also in WordPress news, we have e-commerce. A new plugin has come out for the WordPress e-commerce community called MarketPress. This is a plugin that is built to be a little bit different than the other types of plugins out there and available if you are doing any kind of an e-commerce store. What MarketPress is going to allow you to do is if you want to design a layout that is um, along the lines of Etsy or something like that, this will actually allow you to do this. It's by the WPMU dev team. And you can get in and check them out. So MarketPress is the quick link for that information. And again, it will work with BuddyPress, MU sites, and it's just a great tool that if you need to create some content, that's where to go to do it. Moving on to the marketing world, in terms of the press release world, a lot of people don't actually put out good press releases. I actually saw a blooper of one today that was put out to everyone using the word name as the first thing. So it was addressed to everybody as name, not actually filling in their field. Ah, the bloopers. So in the PR world, we have a quick article here from Jenny Riggle over at BuzzBin. So that's the BuzzBin. And on this segment, we see 
that a lot of people are sharing some press releases, but her basic tips are don't blow hot air. Don't over talk what the item is. Think about what does this mean? If you're going to write a press release, what does this mean? What kind of impact will this have on other people? Be sure to sound like a real person. Stay away from any jargon or buzzwords. It's okay to be in touch with your feelings, but don't talk about it at length. And longer is not always better. Sometimes shorter is straight to the point. So again, that is from Jenny Riggle, and you can check it out on livingstimbuzz.com. Next up we have from Mario Sunder, how to source $8,000 of business on LinkedIn. He came across an article on the smart blog on social media, and it was a case study. And in that case study, they basically came to four main points. Build a closely held network inside of LinkedIn. Don't just add everybody and anybody that you can. That's an area that I would say is um, debatable. However, in your closely held network, get to know people. That means learn what it is of the people that you are connecting with learn some things about them teach sales skills representatives how to benefit from SEO or search engine optimization get your profiles search engine optimized learn about your prospects dig into their profiles if they link off to their websites if they send you out to their Twitter anything like that start to follow them connect with them in more than one space and then create some efficient habits that you practice on an ongoing basis, checking the questions and answers, etc. Mario also suggests that you stick with it, do not give up in this, and be creative. So his website again is mariosunder.com and feel free to stop in, check this article out, and get some real meat as to how you are using your LinkedIn account. Also in the marketing world are three reasons why marketers are unable and or unwilling to measure their ROI or the return on investment. This is an article that appeared by Todd Deferin over at PR Squared and basically the main things are if you are not working with um, a specific budget, if the sky's the limit on the budget, you've got lots of tools, but this average small business, they don't have a lot of money to put into a large, large bu budget. So what I would suggest is that, again, you look at a few smaller options as opposed to those that track every single link and tool. ROI platforms that track everything are going to cost you what it's worth, so keep that in mind. Not every marketer is willing to work with their peers over in the sales department. Sales and marketing can go hand in hand and they can work well together. However, if your sales staff is out in the field and you're in the marketing department and you're not communicating back and forth, you don't know what's going to help them in their job in an ongoing basis. So work together. Finally, not every marketer is willing to talk with their webmaster or vice versa. So what this translates into is if you've got a webmaster that isn't willing to tell you how many people are visiting your website, you don't know if you're marketing online, you don't know if the links that you're putting out there are having any result. You need to be sure of that information. Again, relating to the marketing world, we have an article from Social Media Explorer. We have Heather... Rast reporting in that in article marketing, you have a great opportunity to build a lot of links to your website. So that means create some content that can be used over in the analog world. Write an article and send it in. Ask your local newspaper, do you want this article to run in the local newspaper? They're always looking for stories to cover. So check with your local analog world. You could even check with your local news agencies as well. Get scientific is what another thing that she suggests. So getting scientific basically means start using facts and figures and numbers and hard evidence that people want. They can't find them in many other places, so that works. With your rank, always link back to your website. This is going to boost your overall traffic and therefore get you higher up in the search engine results. In the world of small budgets and good web writers, you want to stand out. So that means don't do article spinning and make sure that you write good stuff. That's a basic synapse of what you have inside of this article in Social Media Explorer. I thought it was really valuable in terms of getting an idea of article marketing. I know this is an area that I don't do nearly enough. And 
you need to just dig in there and write some good articles that are going to get some traffic back to your site. Next up, not as related in the article marketing world, is just a great new tech product coming out. A lot of people are using the Xbox 360. I know I use it weekly when I am playing Rock Band live with my friends on our weekly Sunday night routine. There's a couple games coming out that are part of Connect. If you haven't heard of Connect yet, I'd look for this to be a popular present around the Christmas season. Connect basically allows you to interact with your Xbox the way that the new Wii remotes allow you to interact with your Nintendo Wii. In this case, you do not need to hold any type of a controller, but you're up physically moving as part of the game. So you're not just sitting on the couch pressing buttons, but you're up and you have to wave your arms and your hands and things to make things happen. The hot games to check out are Dance Central. Dance Central reminds me a bit of Rock Band, where you're holding instruments in Rock Band, but in Dance Central, you're just dancing along with what you see on the screen. Connectimals is a new area of virtual pets. There's Connect Sports. In the Connect Sports area, this one looks pretty interesting to me as far as um, I like the Wii Fit Plus. This looks similar to that where you are uh, able to do skiing and running in place and tennis and all types of things like that. And the same thing ties in with Your Shape Fitness Evolved as another game option. And finally, we have Sonic Pre-Riders. These are the hot five games right now to go with the Connect. One thing, though, to be aware of that you need to be super careful about is that you aren't going to end up like this guy, playing along with what's happening inside of Connect, enjoying a nice family activity. You see the hand motions are up and you're moving and skiing and pulling things and jumping and there's a lot of great fun to be had here. But what you will see is that as you get really excited and into the game, you need to stand a couple arm lengths apart or else you will get hit. So keep this in mind. Watch out for getting elbowed or hit when playing Connect. Finally, a bit of news here at the end related to those that are in the social media world. Um, if you happen to be in a social media strategist or you are considering hiring one for your company, this is an information about those that are corporate, meaning they work in a large company. The current state of the corporate social media program has been announced by Jeremiah Owang, and you'll find that a lot of people that are in this have only been in this path for just a few years, obviously, because that hasn't been out that long. And Altimeter, also the group that Jeremiah Owang works with, announced that a lot of people have business degrees and marketing degrees. They've done a good thorough study of this. So you can get that information. It's in SlideShare. Report career path of the corporate and social media strategist. Be proactive or become a social media help desk. You'll see that as you navigate through this article, it says if you really want to get into a position where you are the lead, you are the head of the team, you're going to find that unless you are actively making a declaration of your time saying this is my time to work on the social media for the company, rather than dealing with everyone in the company that participates in social media, and you're going to, which would put you into the help desk category, you want to distinguish yourself and set yourself apart as the person that's not only in the know, but you are setting the course of the path for the entire company. You're watching the company's stats and metrics and everything else. You do not want to be just the help desk. So that's the information today, November 11th, 2012. Check that out again at CourtneyEngel.com or in iTunes as Streamlining Social Media.